Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll System tutorial, I'll talk about ad hoc payroll and I'll use bonus as example. Let's go to SQL. The first step is we go to payroll open pending. If you still remember, open pending is for you to maintain any amount that is not the basic example bonus, OT and so on. Let's go to bonus. In here, what you can do is click on this icon and key in the individual employee and the amount of their bonus. Example, you key in select the employee, then key in the amount and so on. Okay, so the next step is save it, close it. Close it and we go to new payroll. In new payroll, you can see there will be ad hoc. Click on ad hoc. Now, the meaning of ad hoc is you want to separate this kind of payment from your basic pay. If, example, your bonus is paid together with your final payroll, then you just directly go to final instead of go to ad hoc. When you go ad hoc means you pay the bonus first, then only you pay the final payroll. So there is two ways. The first way is, example today is 26. We will process from 26 to 26. That means the same day of your payment or your processing. You should not and cannot put it until end of the month especially on the process date because if you do that then you will not able to do your final payroll for that month okay so the next step will be click on process the second option okay then you select bonus you do the same things for allowance OT and so on if those are separate from your basic pay then you click OK then you click process so you can see there's only two person because only two person got the payroll double click go in then you can see that this is the payroll if you want to deduct the epf also and things like that for your bonus directly in the bonus pay then you can do the setting during the over here okay but normally all those ad hoc process normally will not do contribution contribution only deduct at the final so this is the first way okay now let's show you the second way pass payroll let's delete the bonus first sorry I need to delete the bonus payroll then I should go to open pending and delete the two maintenance okay now it's fresh already and the second way is directly go to new payroll same things go to ad hoc but this time instead clicking on at the second option we click the first option but as I mentioned you should process the date is 26. 26. This date can be any date as long as it's not the final payroll date. Let's say your final payroll date is um, 31st or 30th, then as long as this date is before that date, then no problem. So just previously we have studied how to use the second option. Now we use the first option. Same things, go to payroll bonus click ok then process after process you can see all the stuff will appear but when you go in it is totally empty so what you can do is instead you key in the open pending now you directly key in the amount over here can you see save it then the next person
So after that, you can print the base step. Okay, so remember there's two methods to do this. The first method is you do open pending, put in the bonus amount, then you select the second option. The other way is without doing the open pending, you directly go to ad hoc and click on the first options after process, then you key in. So there's two ways to do this. So this is how you make use of ad hoc. Now, um, let's say you are interested in SQL payroll or you want to watch other payroll tutorial video. So you can directly go to our website. Then if you're interested with SQL accounting or payroll or change the maintenance to us, no problem, directly contact me. And thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.